world's got me feeling like a freak on a leash, and people like to preach about the freedom of speech, but anti-terror legislation making secret police, the masters of war coerce us into keeping the peace. So I must confess, profess my disgust and detest for the pressure and the stress put on by the rest, they say be professional, gotta look presentable, climbing up a ladder where most are expendable, I can't handle it, dismantle it rung by rung, vandalize the advertisements all one by one, silence and violence is too easy of a rhyme. But it seems they go together like poverty and crime. It's no coincidence. We've grown the distances between the poor and riches who won't hear the dissonance. They don't want to listen, so we got to bring the motherfucking ruckus because the power of the people ain't nothing to fuck with. But most keep working, keep their heads down. Don't let the boss see you get too proud. Leaders gather behind brand new fences, billion dollar defenses not to hear the dissent. It fills me with disgust when I see the news. There's our tax dollars being abused. I don't support war, can't divorce it from the troops. Say we take all that money and turn it into food. Not bombs, not bullets, not batons or battalions or more oil gushing into our oceans by the gallons. I know it's a challenge. We need to give it up. Addicted to this stuff and it's getting pretty rough. I know some are thinking that I'm just one person and every day it just seems to worsen. Well, imagine if every activist was so passionate that their actions never spoke louder than words. I've got no pride for where I come from. I can say that I'm lucky, but I can't say that I'm proud. So dear Canada, please change your tune on war. Please go easy on the needy and feed the poor. Dear Canada, please reform your electoral system when over half the voting public is never represented by the victors. Dear Canada, please reduce the harm of addiction, a controversial maneuver that proves here in Vancouver safe injection. Dear Canada, please shut down Marine Land and the Calgary Stampede. Exploitation's not entertainment. Let's get our ethics up to speed. Dear Canada, Canada, please stop building so many prisons. Crime is down, but we're creating racist laws designed to fill them. Dear Canada, it is our shame that Palestinians have died while we put Maple Leaf Bride behind Israeli apartheid. Dear Canada, how many Native women have to die or disappear before we start to dry some eyes on our highway of tears? Dear Canada, I hope we can collectively understand that we are living on borrowed time and stolen land. We are living on borrowed time and stolen land. So dear Canada, put that in your pipeline and spill it.